Let's see what story we're going to tell. I come from the age of Martin and Malcolm, and I came up with a whole different narrative of what's possible than what's prevailing right now. What if the narrative was, we live in a city of villages where every household can walk to work, walk to shop, walk to learn, and walk to play? When we said, what does it mean to be green, it has become something that's only for a certain group of people. And then I realized, well, what it meant for my grandmother to be green was that she had cucumbers in the back, she had peppers, right? Or it meant living off the land and being resilient and understanding those things. So I think that is one of the biggest things that we can do is kind of crack that code of not thinking about sustainability as tied to race or class, but about the resilience of how do we move forward as a country and how to move forward as a planet. The ecosystems that are designed for families to thrive are not working, and this shouldn't be about economics. Anyone should be able to thrive regardless of how much they earn. And so we're pushing, Buell is pushing the systems to create the kind of changes that will enable people to thrive. How can we help level the playing field and build community wealth by making sure that neighbors get to be the investors, the owners, the developers of that property? Not some guy with some special sauce across town who's gonna magically do something that neighbors can't do. Northside's an integrated community, and the people who live there live there because they want to and because they love their community. And we understood that if we could mobilize that, we could create the transformative agenda that those residents were telling us that they wanted. The question is, and we call it the question of the century, where is your village? Where is your village? We can't do system change across the board in one fell swoop. It's got to be incremental. We got to be bold and risky. People get angry. People are hurt. One thing goes wrong and all the trust, distrust comes out, right? But what's going to matter isn't that all that happened. What's going to matter is we come back the next day. This stuff isn't easy, but if you come from a place of consensus around what you want for your community, mm -hmm. you can then begin to move forward. And it's that gradual process with brilliant execution and relentless attention to the details that's going to create the kind of systemic change that we all want to see.